Did anyone have any annoying habits? <laughs> hey, I'm Francesca and I'm playing text on the beach with Cosmopolitan. I got a text. Message. <laughs> oh, that makes me miss Ovi. Hey, Francesca. Welcome out of the villa. What was the best thing about being in the villa? <sighs> the best thing about being in the villa, I think, would probably be just like everyone in there, to be honest. We had so much fun and just, yeah, like playing silly games, like doing the salmon in the pool and things like that. Yeah, I just had a great time getting to know everyone. What was the worst? <sighs> the worst. I think waiting around for food sometimes, like <laughs> we didn't know when our lunch and dinner was coming. So yeah, probably that. Walking around hungry. <laughs> yeah, they did have a snack fridge, but it was like crisps and chocolates and things like that. <laughs> Who was the best person to live with? Definitely, it's got to be Ovi. Ovi was the best person to live with. He's so chilled and like we liked all the same music. So we just used to like relax and just talk music all day, really. Ovi definitely is how he comes across on screen. He's just such a gentleman. He's so chilled. He's really lovely. Yeah, he's great. Did anyone have any annoying habits? <laughs> when we were sleeping, we have to all share a room. So one night, Maura was, well, Maura snores quite a lot actually. <laughs> and Belle woke up in the morning and was like, you sound like a chihuahua. And it was just like the funniest thing I heard. So it probably was the snoring from all the other islanders, I think would probably be the annoying thing. Did you plan the savage recoupling speech where you picked Michael? No, I didn't. I had to go totally off the cuff because I didn't know who I was going to choose. And then I just kind of had it made up for me. So I had Michael. But it was great. I'm glad I had the best last few days with him. He's really good. He's good fun. Do producers have input into recoupling speeches or certain situations in the villa? Um, no, they're just like... They like, not really, like they just ask you what your opinion is and then, yeah. Yeah, you do speak to them because you have to tell them who you like and you have to like get chatting with them for things like that. So you do, you do speak to them, but they don't tell you what to do type thing. You've hinted at feeling left out by the Islanders. Was there a particular situation that made you feel that way? Not necessarily, it was just when I first got there, I would kind of walk into the changing room and things and everyone would go a bit quiet. So yeah, I think I, I just went into myself a little bit and I should have spoke out more rather than just going quiet because I felt like they were ignoring me. But in the end, I made some really great friends and it was, yeah, everyone got to know who I was in the long run anyway. It just took me a little while. <laughs> there are lots of strange rumours going around about you and Caroline Flack. Is there anything you want to clear up? She's lovely. She's really, really nice. She was nothing but nice to me when I met her and yeah, she liked my headbands and things. She's really sweet. When I, <laughs> everyone said she snubbed me on the interview, but it was my first interview and I just got so nervous. And when she stood, I just automatically stood. And then the producers were like, sit down, sit down. And I was like, what am I doing? And I just sat. <laughs> so yeah, it was a bit embarrassing, but she done the right thing. So I had a little chat with her afterwards. So it was all good. <laughs> And finally, who do you think is going to win? I would really love for Belle and Anton to win. Belle is so caring and just a really strong, passionate woman. She's fantastic. And Anton gave me some good advice in there. So they basically looked after me the whole time. I really would love for them to win. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to Cosmo's YouTube channel.